talk about Winter Jam again. It's such a unique experience to have so many different artists, different genres, uh, you know, an eclectic audience and experience like that. Talk about returning on the road for that. Cause man, it's just, a, it's such a great night. Oh yeah. Winter Jam is so great. I mean, that is the best thing about Winter Jam. Um, well, I shouldn't say the best thing. There's lots of good things, but it is cool that it's so eclectic. You're going to get, uh, and I think this, I've been on Winter Jam at least five times, maybe six. I can't quite remember, but I will say this is even more eclectic than normal. I mean, we've got rap, hip hop, gospel, we're hard rock. You got pop, worship, folk music. It's kind of like got everything. And I think that's one of the things that all the diversity is great. And all these fans come together for this, you know, common purpose for Winter Jam. And, and it's just, it's just great. And obviously we're coming off of a, a hard two years because of the pandemic. So people are very much looking for community and it's just, it's just been a really fantastic tour, man. It's kind of been a party. You can see people just so happy to be at a live event. Yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, Colton Dixon was talking about how it's like family atmosphere backstage, almost like a reunion where you're getting to see folks you may not have been able to see recently. And now you're going to yeah. connect with them again in preparation for the tour. And now, you know, these different events, obviously many of you are fans of one another. So it's great to kind of, you know, see them in their latest uh, presentation of music. You got new music out, uh, you know, just, just great stuff for the night of, you know, touring wells and, I mentioned Colton KB obviously is doing his thing. New song. I just spoke to new song yesterday, uh, Russ and talking about, you know, they got a couple new songs that they're throwing into the mix. So fans, the fans are just going to go nuts eating up. Just, just like you say, coming out of a, almost a starvation period of this for a couple of years, but getting just a feast. <laughs> it's right. Famine or feast, uh, which was the name of a big tent revival song. If you can remember back that far, that, that uh, doesn't have me. I'm, I'm not in that part. So you'd have to, you'd have to enlighten <laughs> me, bro. I was probably in my heathen era during that time. So I apologize <laughs> for that. Uh, it's hysterical. Uh, well, pray, we'll praise God for the non heathen area, uh, era, the, uh, the saint era. Anyway. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, it, it, it really has been exciting. And, and, um, yeah, I mean, all the people we're touring with, we're friends with, and and a lot of times not just friends, but you're fans of their music. So it's always cool because you get to sit side stage, you get to watch these amazing, talented people do their thing. And uh, I just always think it's a, uh, I always think of Winter Jam as being a very kind of family back a backstage family atmosphere, and we're all here for the same purpose. We're we're here to play, hopefully play great music, but mainly we're here to spread a message of hope. Um, which we're in a time right now that the world desperately needs hope. And we have uh, the, the sort of the antidote to all of the pain and the fear and all the stuff happening in the world. We have that antidote, if you will, in Jesus Christ. Th that's what life is about. He is our blessed hope. And so you're spreading this, this message that, yeah, things are really hard, but there is something so wonderful in life that is so much more important than the temporary pain we are going through. So I love spreading that message of Jesus and seeing people's lives change. For instance, last night I met someone in a VIP. We, only, we, do, we meet about 30 or 40 VIPs a night. And a guy came through the audience and he said, he said, 10 years ago, <clears throat> he said, I was a drug addict and my life, I was about to die. I'm completely addicted to drug, hard drugs. And he said, I heard your song on, on a rock radio station, didn't know whose skill it was. The song was called Not Gonna Die. He said, that song encouraged me to check into a rehab facility in which I became a Christian. I got off of drug addiction. And he said, 10 years later, my job now is that I am a counselor to people who struggle with drug addiction. Wow, praise uh, God. All because of some dumb rock song he heard on, uh, on, the, uh, on the radio. So we don't have any idea what the Holy Spirit may be doing in someone's life. We get to play a part, but what we really want is to see God move on people. Amen. And it is definitely a night of worship and praise, uh, different experiences that you will uh, not soon forget. So make sure you get your tickets. We put links there for you to go over to the Winter Jam website, get your tickets, see the tour dates. Obviously, we'll link to John and uh, Skillet's website so you can get all the information on what they're doing as well because they do have new music out there as well. And it's always fun 